In Jacksonville, police are looking for possible victims of a self-proclaimed child molester who admitted his actions during a human rights ordinance meeting. Roy Bay told the city council he routinely molested children and has never been arrested. As for the result of this statement, JSO has launched an investigation and believes that victims are in our area where he frequented, like Memorial Park, Riverside, and Murray Hill. Channel 4's Crystal Moyer joins us now live. Crystal, what are police revealing about this man? Marcus and Ashley, after Roy Bay made those comments, they immediately opened an investigation and found that he may have committed those acts of sexual assault right here in Jacksonville. Investigators painting a disturbing picture of a man now in the national spotlight. JSO says this man, Roy Bay, may have sex crime victims right here in Jacksonville. Their investigation points to Murray Hill, Riverside, and specifically Memorial Park as places where the crimes may have happened. The victims may include white males between 10 and 18 years old. We visited Bay's home where this handwritten note was posted on the door. It's a warning to members of the media to leave or be arrested. While no one at the home had anything to say, this post on Bay's Facebook page reads, quote, Hey, Facebook friends and family, I love each and every one of you and appreciate your prayer and support. If someone contacts you about me, I am asking you not to talk to them at all about anything. This is my problem and I will handle it. Thanks and I appreciate your love and prayer support in this time of trial and testing. It's not a personal matter, so we just let them take care of it. A member of Royce Church, Evangel Temple, didn't have much to say other than this. But we can tell you one thing. Yes. That we're praying for everybody uh, because Jesus comes first in all of our lives. So we want, you know, God to work everything out because God, we serve a God that is of grace. The church's pastor told Channel 4's Jim Piggott earlier this week the safety of the families attending Evangel Temple is a top priority. Part of that is going to be restricting uh, any contact, possible contact with uh, children and with young people, uh, he will be allowed to come to the church services and uh, seated in an appropriate spot, which will be watched by our security. So we asked one of the church members if Bay would still be allowed to reside on the church-owned property where he lives right now. She said she wasn't sure, but JSO says that Bay may have acted alone or with another white male as far back as 1980. Of course, as soon as we find any more developments on this case, we will let you know. For now, reporting live, Crystal Moyer, Channel 4, The Local Station.